Friedens Reich Hundertwasser, the Austrian-born painter, first visited New Zealand in 1973. His touring exhibition was shown here in the Auckland Art Gallery. The bold, radical paintings and Hundertwasser's outspoken ideas on man's relationship to nature generated controversy and great publicity. Hundertwasser was one of the 20th century's most celebrated European artists. He became equally renowned for his revolutionary architecture. Hundertwasser believed in human architecture, designed in harmony with nature. The lines and color of his paintings are echoed throughout his buildings. Each new building has gone on to become an iconic destination for locals and tourists, revered by the cities they inhabit, visited by thousands and thousands of people. Now in Whangarei, we have the chance to build the world's last authentic Hundertwasser building. It will be a unique gift to the people of New Zealand. Hundertwasser fell in love with this country from his first visit in the 70s. He became a New Zealand citizen and returned at least once a year to his land at Kauri Nui in the Bay of Islands, where he built his bottle house. When I paint a painting, I always think how would it stand the, compa the comparison with, with a tree, with a plant and so on. That's why I always put uh, uh, paintings in, in, into nature to see if they can stand the comparison. If they are just as good as a tree, then I'm happy, you see. This is, this is my, the, the, the nature is, is my, my teacher, is my master. New Zealand played a deeply significant role in Hundertwasser's life. He restored the bare farmland at Kauri Nui to native forest and built a network of canals and ponds. He was committed to developing a sustainable sanctuary in sync with nature. Hundertwasser recognized the spiral as an iconic motif in the New Zealand landscape. The koru flag he designed for New Zealand in 1985 symbolized his vision for an independent bicultural nation. Today, a tiny bit of his vision resides in his beloved Kawakawa. In the final year of his life, Hundertwasser worked closely with his community to transform its humble public toilets into a magical piece of architecture. He took this project very personally. He was down here every day and trying to get everyone else involved as well. He went up to the college and the primary school, and got the children to make all the tiles and all the bricks he tried to get locally. He went round all the local uh, bottle dumps and picked up all the bottles for the walls. And at the end of the day, when it was all finished, he actually said he thought that this was the best work he had ever done. Hundertwasser's involvement with Māori on the Kawakawa project was significant. The artist was curious to learn more about our culture and came to hold a deep respect for traditional belief systems. The holistic nature of Māori spirituality mirrored his own strong connection to nature. In turn, Hundertwasser came to be respected by Tangata Whenua as a man of great mana. Since their opening, the Kawakawa Public Toilets, the world's last genuine Hundertwasser building, have become an international tourist phenomenon. Now Whangarei has its own brilliant opportunity. In 1993, Hundertwasser was invited by our mayor to design an art gallery for Whangarei City. Using the artist's original plans, we now have this unique opportunity to create an outstanding, world-class feature right here on our beautiful waterfront. The Revive project has won the support of the Hundertwasser Non-Profit Foundation. They have retrieved the um, artist's original sketches and drawings from the archives, and they've also engaged uh, Heinz Springmann, an architect who has been used on a lot of other Hundertwasser projects overseas, to produce the plans for Whangarei. A stunning landmark on a grand scale, this will become one of New Zealand's most iconic buildings. Like the artist's work, it will be multifaceted and multifunctional. The centre will be an educational resource where our youth can study art, architecture and ecology. 
Generous public spaces will be created around the building, including a rooftop sculpture garden. It will feature state-of-the-art exhibiting spaces, a main gallery of Hundertwasser's work, and a contemporary Māori art gallery in keeping with Hundertwasser's wishes. When Hundertwasser arrived here in Northland, he naturally became part of an artist movement for peace in the environment, of which of course he was an international standard bearer. So this gallery really will be able to connect and articulate those potent stories of our national identity. The Foundation's agreed to circulate original artworks from its museum in Vienna. This will be graphics, paintings, tapestries, a gift of significant value. But this is only done based on the authenticity of the project, and, but also because of Hundertwasser's love of New Zealand. It's unquestionable that Hundertwasser is one of the great figures of 20th century art and architectural design. And I think this is going to create tremendous interest in the town basin and will absolutely be a draw card to visitors to Whangarei. The Hundertwasser Art Centre is a unique opportunity to change the perception of Whangarei to an international tourist destination. In fact, the centre will attract tourists and artists from all over the world. Every part of this building will be alive and inclusive, a place and space for everyone to enjoy. The Hundertwasser Non-Profit Foundation has offered an unprecedented opportunity to showcase, on an international scale, Māori art alongside Hundertwasser's art. This will be a national treasure, a taonga, something we will all be immensely proud of. Mm -hmm.